guys, it is November 1st. It's the first day of the Christmas season. Halloween is over and done with. Even though Porter's still wearing his monster, he's not ready for Halloween to be over. I need to put all of my Halloween decorations away. I'm not ready to get Christmas decorations out yet. I think I'll wait until closer to Thanksgiving. But with this being November 1st, I saw this really cute activity on the Busy Toddler. I've talked about this. Uh, I've talked about this woman a lot. She has an Instagram page and a website. But anyway, she posts on her Instagram page this really cute idea that I thought I would try. And basically you make a turkey and then every day of November you ask your kids what they're thankful for or if they're too young like what they love and then you make it onto a feather and then you add a feather to the turkey each day and then uh, by Thanksgiving it's a full feathered turkey. So I got out our construction paper today and I made a little turkey. So here's my turkey, little eyes and a nose and what's that thing? I don't remember what that thing is called, a gobble or it's got a funny name, I forget. And so it's just this and then little legs. Mine doesn't look half as cute as the one that she made, but I'm not artistic, so this will have to do. So this is what we're gonna start with. I'm gonna hang it on the wall, and then today I'm gonna ask Grayson what he's thankful for, and that will be the first feather. I've got purple construction paper, I also have blue. So I would ask Porter, but he can't talk. So we'll have to do this mm. with you next year, huh? Mm. Grayson is in the playroom. He is making a mess. He's doing a new workbook that I got him. Say hi, Gray. Hi, Gray. Are you doing your workbook? Good job. Tomorrow is election day. It's not like the full election, but because it's election day, Grayson doesn't have preschool because his preschool is a voting site. It's like out of church. So unfortunately he does not have preschool tomorrow, which I am very bummed about because it's just gonna feel like a long day. So he only has to, he only gets to go to preschool once this week, which is a bummer. So that's why we're gonna do these little activities and Porter is hungry for lunch. Do you like the turkey? You want the turkey? Turkey! What does the turkey say? Gobble, gobble. Okay, Porter was getting hangry, so I got him some lunch. He's eating some cut up chicken and some veggie yeah. straws and some strawberries. I'm making a mess. I made Gray lunch too, but he said, he said, no thank you, I'm playing right now. <laughs> he's, he's getting too big. So anyway, Gray, first thing that he's thankful for is chocolate. So I have added a chocolate feather to our turkey. And we will add tomorrow and see what he's thankful for tomorrow. I wonder if any of the days he'll say mom or dad, or if it'll all just be candy. <laughs> I guess chocolate is pretty fitting because Halloween was yesterday, so we've been having a lot more candy than we usually do in this house. So that's actually very fitting that he chose chocolate <laughs> but yeah just kind of a fun activity um if you guys are sorry i'm cleaning up all the mess that i made with the, the construction paper so if you guys are looking for an activity to do with your kids i suggest it because it's actually really easy and you don't have to be too creative because i am not creative so yeah definitely try and check it out so we are outside now, it's after nap time. We have Berkeley now, we are dog sitting her for the night. Gray's doing sidewalk chalk. What's wrong Gray, do you need help? He gets a little frustrated trying to draw, write his letters. G really trips him up. We got some snack over there, some pretzels. And then we got Porter over here. What is that Porter? A pumpkin? So here's the state of our pumpkins. They're actually doing pretty well. They've got a lot of black inside them because of the candle flame and they've been out for a week, over a week now. So those are going to be thrown away soon because now it's November 1st, so we don't need them. Porter tore all of the monster stickers off of Gray's pumpkin. So now it looks like we have two regular pumpkins and two carved pumpkins. What are you doing, Gray? 
You're being silly. Do you need help? He's very independent. Every time I ask him for help, he says no. Very independent. This must be what three looks like. Three and a half, I guess. <laughs> Porter loves this little bubble machine that we have. It's a frog and you turn it on and it like spins and it blows bubbles. He is, <laughs> he is obsessed with it, but he just wants to touch the bubble stuff. And his hands get all sticky and then he tries to eat it. So it's not really working out, but he loves bubbles. What kid doesn't? But he's really into the pumpkins right now. I don't know when I'll get rid of the pumpkins. I basically put away like all of our Halloween decor already because what's the point? But we've had it for like a month now. So I put all that away. I'm keeping out some of the fall stuff. So like the pump, like the little pumpkins I have, I'll keep out. So I'm keeping that stuff out, but I put away all the Halloween stuff. So I'm not sure when I'll get rid of the pumpkins. Sorry, Porter was trying to eat the tea light that I had in the pumpkin to keep it lit. I swear, this child. So anyway, like I was saying, I don't know when I'll get rid of the pumpkins and I'm not quite sure how to get rid of them. Usually every year I just throw them in my dumpster, but, or my trash can, my big trash can, but that kind of seems like not good for the environment. Um, some of my neighbors were saying that you can put them in like the leaf bags and they'll take them to the compost site or wherever they take like leaves and dirt and stuff. So I guess that's an option if Anthony mows, which he needs to, because the lawns, the grass is really, really long. I think we've got one more mow in us, maybe two. Do you hear that? Somebody's working on their house. So I could do that. Or I guess there's like a, a place you can take pumpkins around town and throw them in this huge dumpster and they're gonna compost them and stuff. But do I really wanna take time out of my day to like go to this compost site? and put the nasty pumpkins in my car. I just don't know. I don't know. So let me know down below if you guys do anything specific. Some of my neighbors commented and said that they just throw their pumpkins in the backyard and they let the squirrels get to them. But I just feel like that could be a problem. First of all, we're gonna mow, so we can't have pumpkin on our ground. And second of all, I just feel like it would attract things that we don't want. We already have so many squirrels and they eat like the wood on our lattice. So I don't think I want any more squirrels than what we have. So I don't think I'll do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do with those pumpkins. Oh, do you see Berkeley? Berkeley's like, why are we doing sidewalk chalk? I want to go on a walk. This is lame. Oh, she's running away from Porter. Do you want to go on a puppy walk? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Porter took his socks off. So I'm here making dinner. Gray's watching a show. I went to go switch it because he wanted something different. And I turned back around, I heard Porter making noise. And this is what he did. Porter! Oh my gosh. Having two kids is no joke, you guys. Now we have to go clean while making sure dinner doesn't burn. I'm just making spaghetti. It's nothing special, but we haven't had it in a while and I've been craving it, but now I have to clean up that mess. <sighs> Someone want to come clean my house? Oh, can you sing happy birthday? Yeah. We've been doing this for like 10 happy minutes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grayson. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Good singing! Uh, uh, can you sing what did you uh, find? Uh, 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 can you sing Ring Around the Rosie? Are you going to do your puzzle? We are just chilling here in Grayson's room. Both boys had an unexpected bath. We had spaghetti tonight, and even though they had baths yesterday, they desperately needed 
a bath and so we did two nights in a row of bath i usually don't do that i either do every other or every two days porter wants me to wear hats he's very into hats lately hey so yeah we're just hanging out until bed bedtime anthony went to go work out we're trying to get into shape because we go to jamaica in less than two months and our bodies are not beach ready so <laughs> we are trying to get there so i try to work out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Anthony tries to work out every other day, but it's hard when you have kids and plans and schedules, so we get it, it in when we can. But yeah, I think this is just what we're going to do the rest of today. Gray's and his Christmas jammies. We have several Christmas jammies, but these are one of them. We're getting tired. I got to try to keep the kids up later. I saw on TikTok that if you keep your kids up 10 minutes later every day culminating up to an hour later than um if you start the week before daylight savings then they'll be ready on daylight savings to stay up an hour later so i'm gonna try to do that porter gets tired at night so it's kind of hard gray is easy so we'll see how it goes but i am dreading daylight savings time i hate it it's gonna be dark constantly and the kids are gonna be cranky but anyway i think that's it porter's falling off the bed so i should go uh, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Say bye! Say I love you! Bow kisses! <laughs> Porter, say bye! Say bye bye! Bye bye! Bye! <laughs>